it's somewhat of good news today, which is somewhat needed as well. It's not about KCP, it's more about an investment in terms of having COVID-19 vaccines in Kenya. It's an investment of about 57 billion shillings. Now to a milestone for Kenya in the health sector. Kenya has entered into a deal with the US pharmaceutical company Moderna for the setting up of a vaccine manufacturing plant right here in Kenya. So the facility to be the first one of its kind in the country will produce vaccines for Kenya and supply other African countries as well. The memorandum of understanding was signed earlier on today between Kenya's health cabinet secretary and Moderna. President Uru Kenyatta, who witnessed the ceremony, hailed the development as the best news since the outbreak of the COVID-19 in the country. The decision to set up the vaccine manufacturing plant is good news, not just for Kenya, but for the entire continent. More than a year after the world's first COVID-19 shot was administered and two years into the pandemic itself, just 12.7% of Africans have been fully immunized. In Kenya, the numbers stand at 15.7%. And until now, the continent has had to depend on imported vaccines. We're celebrating one of the greatest things that uh, has possibly happened since the onset of COVID, at least for the African continent. And to this end, Mr. Bansel, we want to express our gratitude to you and the entire Moderna team for everything that uh, you have done and the support that you have given to make this day a reality. Moderna is building this state-of-the-art facility in Kenya with the goal of producing up to 500 million doses of vaccines each year. The company anticipates investing some 500 million US dollars, an equivalent of 57 billion Kenya shillings, in the new facility. We all know the challenges that Kenya and indeed the entire continent of Africa went through in the earlier stages of this pandemic, a situation that resulted in Africa being left behind, not because of want, but because of lack. Moderna says it hopes to use the facility to supply doses of its COVID-19 jab to African nations as early as next year. And the African Union called for all of us to work together in partnership to make sure that by the year 2040, the continent produces at least 60% of its vaccines. We currently only produce 1% of our vaccines. Moderna's announcement follows a decision by the World Health Organization to create a global hub in South Africa for the vaccines that use a new method known as mRNA, with Kenya listed among six African nations to be the first recipients of this technology. We are truly grateful. Truly grateful for this, and I think this will be transformative, not just in helping us with the current pandemic, but also preparing the African continent for future pandemics. And I think this is what is most important. The mRNA technology uses the genetic material from the coronavirus and is thought to trigger a better immune response than traditional vaccines. Scientists hope the new method, which is easier to scale up than traditional vaccine technology, might ultimately be used to make vaccines against other diseases, including HIV and malaria. Pamela Sigi, Citizen TV.